minds are so small. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing. Or coffee waking you up. Yeah. Oh, really? That's actually very good. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something that's very dear and near to me. Uh, photography. I'm uh, doing it for fun. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I just want to ask how many, how many of you actually own a camera? Uh, any camera, you know, video yeah. or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's what I guess. Some of us have cameras. Most of us have cameras. Uh, everyone takes pictures. Uh, everyone likes to take pictures, and uh, that's a different story. Uh, but you know, so doing, looking at some statistics on the net, and I found that you know there are 120 billion pages on the internet, and at least 10 times more pictures on the internet right now. So so many pictures we're taking. Uh, we are you know, we are trying to capture this many pages. Uh, and we want to make them fun, and we want to make them memorable, right? So, so I, I want to, you know, kind of uh, uh, tell you how, kind of, how I've grown to be a good photographer. Uh, but at the same time, I also want you to kind of share some of, some of the things that I learned in my ten or so years of photography. And uh, and then, uh, you know, to you, uh, you know, what 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 it takes to be you know, a good good photographer, if not a great. Uh, and then maybe, you know, if people are interested in, you know, generating, uh, you know, making it as their own hobby. Uh, so, you know, so, uh, my, my, you know, I, 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 I try to uh, teach photography to my daughter and wife. Uh, and I, I would take my wife on my, some of my photography trips, uh, which, you know, which used to be hours long, and, uh, you know, she would get bored, and, and I would emotionally <laughs> like, well, telling this is my passion, you got to come with me, and things like that. Which obviously didn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I have to find something that, you know, which is not very technical or technical focus and still kind of develop their interest in, uh, you know, in a common person in photography uh, without teaching them the craft of it or you know, the art side of it. Uh, so, you know, so I came up with something called FUN, uh, you know, uh, which is, you know, I treat it more as an acronym. Uh, and you know, I, you know, for Find what you what you want, what you like in photography. Uh, use what you have, you know, any camera, and then uh, nurture what you know, what you def uh, what you found with those things. So I'm kind of you know, going to walk through each of those points and you know, kind of, and, 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 and maybe you know, generate some interest in you. Um, so find, you know, uh, I'm not going to ask you to analyze, you know, go back your thousands of pictures and analyze what you like and what you can work it on. Going forward, you know, try to see what you know, what develops your interest, what keeps your interest, you know, what what likes it, uh, what you like. You know, you're taking a picture. Is it spontaneity of these things? Is it is it you know the the color of these things? You know, is it the beauty of the nature that you like? Is it sunlight that you like? You know, so see things. You know, what 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 are what are more interesting to you? See, you know, like my daughter says, see, see the pattern in things. You know, is that what you like? Uh, you know, the breaks and things like that. Uh, and do you like to go parties and, you know, you know take pictures of parties? Uh, do you like, you know, some kids' expression? Uh, you know, and you take pictures. You know, when you're taking pictures, you will know what those things are. Uh, the other thing to do would be, you know, think outside the box. When I say box, I mean camera. You know, you want to be on a, you know, don't think from photograph perspective. Just think what you like, you know, what are you liking. And so some people are interested in biking. And, you know, take your camera with you, you know. Some people are interested in traveling. Uh, I'm personally interested in traveling. I, I like the hustle and bustle of the airport. Uh, I like to travel to countries in, you know, in Asia countries particularly. Uh, and enjoy those things. And I, I have a consultant, so, you know, so whenever I go, I, I, you know, I like to take pictures and, you know, capture and what, what the different aspects of the different cities are, things like that. So, you know, find what you like. Uh, that will help you keep okay going. Uh, the next part is, you know, you know, use use what you have. Uh, you know, this this means you know, using the camera that you have, and then developing certain things that help you get better in you know taking pictures. Uh, you know, I am not going to you know, again ask you to you know learn more the technical aspects of it. There are you know there are so many things that we do that you know that that you know that need a lot of technical uh, learning, but you know it, in photography does need that. But to get you started, you know. Don't don't worry about the technical aspects of it. You know, don't worry about the aperture settings and how the camera functions and things like that. Uh, most people have you know something something very simple. What they call a point camera like this. Uh, 
And when you write, for example, you don't write with your hand in the air, right? You support it. Same thing with the photograph. You want to pull the camera, press it. If you can't press it to yourself, press it to something on the wall. That helps. Uh, you know, if, if you can't do that, also, if it's too dark and shutter screen is very slow and you still get shaky pictures, you want to put the camera on something and then put it on the camera. That helps. Uh, you know, so things like that. Uh, the biggest thing that I have seen pictures get ruined is because when you're taking pictures, you know, you're taking a picture of a person, and this, you know, this is a picture frame, and uh, the person is somewhere here in the middle. You know, there's a lot of space wasted, so you don't want to do that. You know, so things like that. So avoid those things that, you know, so you know, feel the picture, picture frame with the person. So these things will help you all in a get going. Uh, you know, watch for the quality of the light. Now, the best light to take pictures is in all those when it's overcast day, hot sunlight is not good. So things like that, uh, that will help you, you know, kind of develop that, you know, some of the small things that will make the picture better. And then the last thing would be nurturing, you know, what you have, you know, you know develop, you know, that means I'm taking your camera with you all the time. Developing, you know, the frames, uh, don't just put them on digital frames or you know, put them in your albums and things like that. You know, develop big frames, put down a lot, you know, you will be proud of yourself, that will, you know, develop that more interest in you. You want to take more just of that time. Uh, you don't have to know a lot of things about photography. Uh, to be like, you know, from, from the editing point of view, uh, you know, you can go to some online websites like picnic.com, which is really good. Uh, you don't need to learn anything. So, you know, so these things, you know, help you kind of get that going. Uh, you know, I have very short time, a lot of things to take, uh, but then I hope I gave you the gist of, you know, what can make